All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to run a Python script 24 seven on an AWS Ubuntu server via screen and how to transfer files to your server via FileZilla. So without further much to do, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go over to Chrome, get this full screen, and I'm gonna go to aws.amazon.com. AWS.amazon.com. And I already have an account, but if you're new to this and you need to make an account, you will be asked for your billing information at first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click sign into the console. Then when you get on the screen right here, you wanna click on EC2. And then you wanna click on launch instant. And right here you can see that there's a bunch of different options. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with uh, the Ubuntu server uh, 18.04. You can also see that there's um, other ones right here. Like this one has uh, deep learning, has TensorFlow, PyTorch, but we're gonna stick with the, uh, the basic one. So I'm gonna click on select Ubuntu and I'm gonna just stick with the uh, free tier. We get one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM and uh, let's click review and launch. Looks good and launch. Now it's gonna say uh, choose an existing pair of keys. The, you're probably doing this for the very first time, so I'm actually gonna do create a new pair of key. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do server tutorial. And after that, I'm gonna click download key pair. And you say this is server tutorial.pm. And then after that, I'm gonna click on launch instances. And then I'm gonna click on view instances. And as you can see right here, this one right here is currently being launched. So I'm gonna wait for that to be launched. All right, so now that our server is now up and running, as you can see right here, you want to download or make sure that you have a PuTTY installed. PuTTY will make it so we can connect to our server and actually get a script up and running. That's how we're gonna be connecting. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to actually go into PuTTY Gen. So if you have it installed, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for PuTTY. PuTTY Gen, there we go, click on this. Here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on load. And where is it? I have to go find where it is. Actually, what we wouldn't do is click on all files. Server.pem, here we go, server tutorial.pem. Click on that. Successfully imported foreign key, click okay. And then click on save private key. Yes. And what I'm gonna save it as is I'm gonna have it as server tutorial key. And you wanna put dot PPK at the end and I'm gonna actually set, uh, save this on my desktop. So server tutorial key dot PPK and I'm gonna hit save. And let me go check, is it over here? Yep, there you go, server tutorial key.ppk. So, now the next thing you wanna do is we wanna copy your public DNS. So I'm gonna click on this. Actually, we can just click copy to keyboard. And we're going to go into PuTTY, the actual PuTTY, not PuTTY Gen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Ubuntu at paste that DNS key that we got from right here. All right, so once you put Ubuntu at your public DNS from the server like I have right here, I am going to go over to connection, SSH, and then click on auth. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna click on browse. And I'm gonna find the key that I just saved, which was the server tutorial key. There we go, open. Now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go back to session and I wanna actually save this. I wanna save it as t 
tutorial session. And I'll save that right there. Tutorial session. I go back to auth and I'm gonna click open. And it says the her the server host key is not cached. Blah blah blah. Click yes. And now we are connected to our Ubuntu server. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do sudo apt dash get update. If I can type. This will make sure that everything is up to date. All right, so now that's done. Now I'm going to install Python 3 pip. So go sudo apt install python 3-pip. And it's gonna ask you yes or no, I'm gonna do yes. Okay, perfect. Now that's done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the pip packages that I want. So I actually have a uh, Telegram bot that I actually want hosted on a server. And I have a bunch of packages right here that actually needs to be installed. For example, requests and the uh, Telegram bot. So for the Telegram module too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do pip. I think it's actually pip3. Yeah, pip3 install requests. There we go. pip3 install. Actually, let me see. What is it? Tele. But. Python. pip install. Let me see what it is. I think it's just pip install Python or, or uh, Telegram bot. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be pip install python dash telegram bot dash dash upgrade. I don't know if the upgrade is actually necessary, but let's try it. Okay, so now that's up and running. Now, what we want to do is we want to send our file or our uh, script over to our server. So what you want to do is you want to download FileZilla. Now I already have it on here. I'm going to leave the links down in the description, but right here I'm going to click on FileZilla client. I'm going to click on open the site manager. I'm going to click on new site and protocol. We're going to make this uh, secure file transfer protocol or SFTP host we want to copy our let me go back over here we want to copy our public DNS copy this go back over to FileZilla paste this and we want the login to be the key file and we're gonna hit browse and we're gonna hit on the server tutorial key.pbk and it should connect. I don't know if I actually put in the port. If I do, I think it's on port 22, but let me see if it'll work. Connect, username. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to put a username. Okay, the user will be Ubuntu. And there we go. Now you can see that we are connected to our server. All right, so now that we're over here, now what we want to do is we want to transfer our Telegram file over there. So let me go find my Telegram file. I actually think it's on my desktop. Desktop, Python stuff. Let me find it. Telegram bot. There we go. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to just drag it and drop it over here. And as you can see, it queued 741 files. So we're gonna wait for all those to be transferred over. 
All right, so now that we transferred all the files, I actually don't think I needed to transfer the entire folder over to my server if I just did a pip install of the Telegram bot, but I just did anyways to show you guys. But as you can see right here in our directory, we have the Telegram bot. We can click on it and uh, it will go to the other uh, directories within inside that. And actually, if we go back over to our server, it should be able to show us. So if we type ls, yeah, there we go, telegram bot. So if I do cd, which is change directory, and then type in uh, tele, and then if I press tab, it will autofill for me. Enter, now I'm inside of that directory. Now if I type in ls, it's gonna do the directory inside of that one. We'll do cd, python. And do CD again. Well, actually, LS. All right, here we go. So this right here, this folder is exactly where my uh, script is, where I want it to be. So I'm gonna type in CD. Uh, if I can type LS. Every bot testing bot. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you the, the testing one. The, and there we go now you can see the different scripts that I have in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I don't know we'll just do version 1.1 I guess so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to type in screen and this right here will show you what screen is now screen it's a uh, Terminal multiplexer, you can uh, run many different sessions on it, and you can also have the uh, scripts running after you close the um, the connection. So let me show you this. So here we go. Nope, what just happened? Let's. Here we go. Okay, so let's do Python three gate type this all out because I've many of these in case. P Y did I spell it correctly? Yeah I spelled it correctly. No, I didn't. I forgot the B. There we go. Now it should work. Fail to import movie pie. Okay, so right there it just said server has started. And uh, let me go check right now. So let me go over to Telegram. All right, so yeah, as you can see right here, the uh, script is up and running. Do, if I type in or if I press round and give it a command, it's going to show server time, time till the next drop session. So now what you want to do is you want to disconnect from the uh, screen. It will still be running after you disconnect. What you want to do is you want to do Control A D. Now right there, I'll say detached from, you know, whatever. Then what you can do is you can just press the X button, and your script will still be running. So what I can do is you can press round, and it will still be doing the stuff. You can type in uh, what slash version because I remember I added that. And I'll show you the bot version that I had, latest update, one dash six dash two thousand nineteen. I don't know why I made that error, but Yep. And if you ever want to connect back to your server, what you do is you go back into PuTTY. Not PuTTY Gen. Where's my actual PuTTY? Nope. I'm going to exit out of here. Let me go back to PuTTY. PuTTY. And then Tutorial Session. Let me click on it. And it's going to connect right back up. Then if you want to access your uh, screen, what you do is type in screen dash R. And then you're back into your screen. And then if you want to stop your script, you can just do control C and it'll stop and whatever, you get the point. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll reply back to them as quickly as possible. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys and uh, thank you and hopefully I'll see you next week.